Hello there. I hope you're doing well in this lockdown. This video that you're about to see introduces the members of the wellbeing team and explains a little bit about their role um, and especially the ways that they can help you even during lockdown. So um, please do contact them. Their contact details are at the end of the film. And if you've got any problems at all, then the golden rule is always to talk to us. You can talk to Helen or I, the directors of studies, or your personal tutor, and certainly any member of the wellbeing team. So good luck. Hi everyone. It's B here from Wellbeing. Well, for all of us students and staff alike, these have been extraordinary times to say the least. And one of the themes that comes up is motivation, or should I say, the lack of it. I've been asking myself, how do I motivate myself? Should I wait for the magic feeling to emerge from somewhere? Does the daily lockdown walk feel pointless? Motivation and mindfulness, what's that all about? Well, my dog Floyd has it sussed. He has the motivation to go for a walk and because he goes for a walk every day, he feels good every day. So it's a win-win for Floyd. Research tells us that movement releases dopamine and dopamine releases feelings of pleasure and reward. And the more dopamine released, the better the reward. And so we're motivated to repeat this to get that feel good feeling back again, just like Floyd. Mindfulness is just simply being aware of what's around us. So, you know, if we're out walking, notice five things we can see, four things we can hear, three things we can feel, two things we can smell, and one thing we can taste. I'm not suggesting that we start, you know, chewing on gravel or mud, but just to bring our senses into focus. Research also tells us that mindfulness slows down the heart rate and reduces anxiety. That can't be bad. The benefits of motivation and mindfulness boost dopamine levels in the brain and make us feel good. So here's a great recipe for a cocktail of dopamine well-being. The ingredients, exercise, music, daylight, sleep, healthy diet. So let's keep walking. A perfect time to plan an essay, rehearse lines, carry out um, an experiment, thoughts around an experiment, solve a maths problem, or simply daydream. The choice is yours. Hello, my name is Deborah, and I'm the chaplain here at the college working in the wellbeing team. Our slogan is here for you, mind, body and spirit. Your spiritual well-being is inextricably linked to your emotional and physical well-being. So I want to encourage you to take care of every aspect of yourself, mind, body and spirit, and explore spirituality while you're here at college. All of us are on a journey and now is a great time to open your mind to possibilities and opportunities that you hadn't considered before. This takes maturity and an open mind. It also requires a certain amount of reflection, which doesn't come to us easily in this age of endless distraction. However, by building reflective practices into your life, whether prayer, mindfulness, meditation, journaling, or something else, you will reap the benefit in better well-being and increased self-awareness. One spiritual writer states that lack of self-awareness is at the root of most leadership failures. So, as Socrates said, know thyself. I'm chaplain for all faiths and none, but whatever you believe, at the college, we have the freedom to express our beliefs in a way that respects others and is respected in return. During COVID, many of us are asking big questions about life. Some of us have experienced huge losses grieving a loved one and trying to make sense of this trauma. Others are watching friends and family suffer and struggling to know how to support them while looking after our own mental health. One way of looking after your well-being is one that we would all endorse by being thankful and finding ways of looking outwards and of helping someone else. 
This takes our mind off our own problems and puts our suffering into a different perspective. Whatever faith tradition you espouse, be it atheism, agnosticism, Islam or Christianity, gratitude is something we can all agree with. As chaplain, I run a variety of initiatives, events and groups to help people explore spirituality, meaning and faith. But please don't hesitate to contact me by email if you have any issue that I can help you with, whether it's an existential crisis or a trivial inquiry. Email chaplain at hereford.ac.uk and I'll be in contact. And at this testing time, my hope and prayer is for you to know that we are here for you, mind, body and spirit. Hi, I'm Rosie, the wellbeing advisor for the Hereford Sixth Form College. I hope you're all okay in these uncertain times. Um, just to say that I'm available to speak to you around mental health, sexual health, um, exam pressure, COVID-19 support, housing benefits, financial and healthy relationships. So give me a call on Teams or an email um, and we can have a chat um, or on my mobile and I'll always get back to you. So my mobile is 0759 56 11109. So that's 0759 56 11109 or email well-being at hereford.ac.uk. So that's well-being at hereford.ac.uk. Try and stay safe and try and get outside for fresh air because it's really important and it does help your mental health, okay? I hope to see you guys soon in college um, when this is all over. Take care. Hi, I'm Louise, one of the counsellors at the Sixth Form College. And this is going out to all of you, whether you're a student or a member of staff. And it's just to let you know that we're here to support you. A couple of things to remember. Communication is really important. So please keep in touch with family, friends, FaceTime, telephone. Please do that. Ever important socially distance walk. Again, really important. The weather is going to get better and the nights are going to get lighter. You may just want to chat, in which case we can arrange a drop-in, or you may want some counselling. Please do email us on counselling at hereford.ac.uk or you can telephone us on 07595 611 Take care and stay safe. So we know that lockdown is having a massive impact on our day-to-day -day lives, um, forcing a lot of us to um, feel depressed, anxious, stressed, um, and outside of our control. So what we need to try and do is gain a little bit more control back. Um, to gain a bit more of a grasp on our days, we need to try and get up at the same time, um, go to bed at the same time, get ourselves into a sleep schedule, so we're getting about um, seven to eight hours a night. Um, making sure our nutrition is on point, so we're not just uh, grasping for ready meals, we're having five fruit and vegetables a day, and we're making sure we're drinking enough water. Um, also, grabbing enough exercise, as much as I'm going to keep telling you that um, getting some running, cycling, um, hit sessions in your front room is going to be really beneficial for you. At the very least, get yourself out and do um, you know, eight to 10,000 steps a day, um, get, keep yourself moving, get the blood pumping around your body, um, and it's going to relieve some of the sore backs that we're getting, um, that rounded upper back culture where, where we've sat down on our computers all day. Um, and we're also going to um, help us sleep at night and give us some overall well-being. Nutrition, sleep and uh, exercise are three key things, but we've also got to make sure we're socialising, getting yourself out, um, talking to people on the phone, messaging each other uh, via social network um, apps, etc. Just making sure that each other are okay and that we're helping each other out as much as we can. Hopefully it won't be too long till we're back at college and we can get back into a proper routine and proper swing of things. Uh, stay safe and we will see you soon. We're really to be welcoming you back to face-to-face -face lessons this week. But we also understand that for some of you, this will lead to lots of mixed emotions. For a lot of us, it leads to lots of mixed emotions, actually. And we may have some anxieties, concerns or queries, which we may need to talk through with somebody. And it's always OK to reach out for support um, and speak with somebody. Um, and hopefully this film has given you some handy hints and tips around um, how to look after your well-being, what support is available to you whilst you're at college 
So please do reach out to us. You can speak to a member of the wellbeing team, um, your personal tutor, who's going to be available uh, um, throughout this time, obviously. There'll always be somebody available in the personal tutor hub to provide support, or your director of study, myself or John, um, so that we can continue to support you while you're at college.